Hey everyone, welcome back to Alps Mustang Garage. And today we're just going to be finishing up our cylinder head installation on our uh, 66 Mustang uh, six cylinder project we're working on. If you have been following this along, the previous two videos on this cylinder head, we uh, removed the cylinder head and um, there's a, a separate video I'll put a card in here for you so if that's what you're wanting to see. And in the second video we installed the head uh, and a new gasket and got it all torqued down and everything. And so today we're going to be uh, setting uh, in the push rods, the rocker arm assembly, and uh, adjusting the valves. So like the main focus on this video is going to be essentially like adjusting valves. But I'm also going to kind of kind of speed through um, you know, all the little stuff, the spark plugs, the valve cover, the exhaust manifold, the carburetor, the, the vacuum lines, uh, the heater hoses, all that kind of stuff. And then at the very end of the video, we're gonna start it up and see how she runs, but just so you know what you're installed for. So uh, one last thing, if you're starting to see a lot of my videos, I really do appreciate the support. We're starting to get a, you know, a little bit of a growth here. So uh, we really do appreciate any kind of engagement on the channel. Uh, we're on the video. We want to get some comments from you guys. I want to know about what kind of Mustangs you guys are working on or what you've owned, uh, what engine, what transmission you're running, if you're doing a restoration project, if you have a driver car, that's awesome. I want to hear from you guys and kind of get some engagement here on the, on the videos and kind of help with our growth and uh, that way I can keep doing some, some good solid videos. So anyway, so without further ado, um, here's the video of finishing the cylinder head installation on this uh, 200 cubic inch inline six. Okay, so we got the cylinder head back on and torqued. We're gonna install our push rods. And these are the push rods that accommodate a adjustable valve setup. Most of these uh, inline sixes, um, they're actually not adjustable valves. And so it's just a fixed state uh, set up. These ones have uh, push rods with a cup on them. Um, the other type of push rods will have a ball end on both sides and this one has a cups end. and that's to accommodate a uh, adjustable rocker arm setup. Okay so here's our adjustable rocker arm setup. Um, you can get a good look at that. It's got these adjusters with the balls that go that fit perfectly into that uh, push rod. So. Loosen all these here though. Okay, we're going to torque this shaft down to uh, 30 foot pounds. Now that we have our rocker arm assembly all uh, bolted on and torqued, now we need to adjust these valves. You should have already loosened these you know, before you tightened up your shaft. So now we're gonna do the valve adjustment on this. So a lot of, just to kind of make a note, a lot of these six cylinders are not adjustable because it's just a fixed shaft. Um, they don't actually have adjusters on here. So this particular one does because like usually you retrofit after you do a rebuild. If you take metal away from the cylinder head, if you, you know, if you deck the, the engine block and deck the cylinder head, you've now taken, you know, X amount of thousands away and now you're 
push rod needs to be adjustable. You know, you're gonna put too much preload here on the valve. So anyways, this one's been retrofitted to an adjustable setup because it's, uh, you know, it's been rebuilt before. So we're gonna start with getting number one cylinder to top dead center, uh, which we are. If you wanna see how I perform a cylinder top dead center procedure, you can watch that video here. We're gonna adjust the valve, intake and exhaust, till there's zero lash. You can go up and down on the push rod like this until you achieve zero lash. Right there. And this is best to do, especially when I got brand new lifters in this engine. The lifters haven't been pumped up with oil yet. You don't want to pump the lifters with oil you want to do this adjustment procedure first because it can it just kind of throws your your uh, preload off here on your valve, and so this is a very good opportunity to get these set uh, correctly with brand new lifters that have not been pumped up yet. Okay, once I'm at zero lash. I then go three quarters of a turn. Okay, so you can put your ratchet here. One quarter, two quarter, three quarter. So one quarter, two quarter, three quarter. And that's where I wanna be. One quarter, two quarter, three quarter. That is where I want to be. You would now follow that procedure for the remaining five cylinders. You can follow the firing order, which on these is one, five, three, six, two, four. Um, V8s are a little easier because you can just do a quarter of a turn, um, 90 degree turn on your crankshaft and you're up to the next cylinder. Six cylinders are not that easy. So you can kind of like watch through the spark plug holes until your piston like achieves top dead center and stops moving forward. Then you know you're at the next cylinder. So, so from number one, we're gonna go to cylinder five, three, six, two, four. Okay, and we'll get all these adjusted. Okay, now we're ready to just start uh, doing up all of our other little stuff. So first thing I'm going to do is get a thermostat on. Um, in case you're wondering how these go, they go like this into the engine block. Like that. And so we'll get a gasket on there. Okay, so we're going to be installing our exhaust manifold, and along with that, we're going to put in this exhaust manifold divider on this uh, on this engine. And what this is going to do is just kind of help smooth out the flow on um, your three and four cylinder three and four exhaust ports. That'll be a nice little thing to do on this car, um, help it run a little smoother. So we're going to do that along with the exhaust manifold and get that taken care of. Okay, we got our exhaust manifold on, and now I'm gonna work on this side of the engine. We gotta get our spark plugs in, fuel line, distributor cap, uh, vacuum advance line, ignition wires, and um, then get our valve cover on. Just all these little things to get this uh, engine ready to fire back up again.
Okay, now we're working over here on this side. So we're going to get our uh, carburetor on throttle linkage, piece of E-valve. Um, we have a port here for our automatic transmission uh, vacuum modulator. I'm going to hook that up. We got heater hoses to hook up, radiator hoses, all these little things over here on this side now. Okay, I think we got um, all the little things um, addressed and we're ready to start this engine up. Um, of course, you know, the timing is just kind of, you know, set uh, in the ballpark and carburetor is kind of set up in the ballpark, but it uh, should be good enough to get this engine fired up and see how she does. Everything seems to be uh, working pretty good here. Um, so essentially that's how you uh, remove and reinstall a cylinder head, you know, changing the head gasket on your six cylinder, 200 cubic inch uh, engines. So as always, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, appreciate your support. Um, we'll catch you next time.